Okay, in this video, we're going to explain how to set up your Hantle Genmega ATM to communicate via TCP IP with an OpConnect box processing with CDS. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is log into your ATM using your master password by hitting enter, clear, cancel, 123 on your keypad. That'll bring you to this screen here. Then uh, hit operations, then enter your master password. Enter. ATM operations. Then we wanna select customer setup, change processor, and set our communications up for standard TCP IP. So you just click, uh, hit communication until you get to standard TCP IP, which it was on, but we'll scroll through the options. Okay, standard TCP IP, okay. Make sure reverse on host error is enabled, okay. Then you wanna set DCC transaction options to enabled, okay. And cancel. Then you wanna make sure your message format is standard three. Okay, once you set that, we wanna to go to standard three options. You wanna make sure your COM header is enabled. Your status monitoring is enabled. Use 12-bit sequence is disabled. And use TCP IP CRC is disabled, okay? Once you get that set, cancel out of this screen. Again, cancel one more time. Then we wanna to go to host setup. Now we wanna set our routing ID. Change routing ID. Now we want to clear whatever's in there. We wanna set this to CDSAA0, all caps. So you see our C is on column two, so hit two until you get a C. Then D is column three, so hit the three until you get a D. Then S, you can see is column seven. You gotta hit the keys kind of fast to get through them or it'll go to the next one. So we want an A, which is two, two of those, and then a zero, which is zero. Enter. Okay, our routing ID is set, cancel. Now we wanna set our host IP address. Okay, change host IP one. You wanna clear whatever's in there. You wanna set this to 192.168.1.90. So one, nine, two, and you see the period or the dot is a zero dot one six eight dot one dot ninety. Enter. Okay, make sure host IP address two is set. If it's not got anything in there, it'll default to that, but let's change it since it's not correct. Clear whatever's in there. Again, it's gonna be the same. One, nine, two, dot, one, six, eight, dot, one, dot, 90. Enter. Okay, now we wanna set our host port one. This needs to be set to 7006. Okay, clear whatever's in there. Seven, zero, zero, six, enter. Okay, host port two needs to be the same. It's already set to 7006, but you'd change it if not. Okay, now, 
we want to cancel out of here. Cancel again. Oops, a little too far. Go back into the ATM operations and go to system setup, device setup, ATM TCP IP setup. And you want to make sure this is the TCP IP mode is set to static. Static IP. There we go. Now we want to set the IP address. This is going to be 192.168.1.91. So 192. Begin the zero key twice. 1.68. One dot ninety one. Enter. Okay, now we want to set our subnet mask to two fifty five dot two fifty five dot two fifty five dot zero. Okay, so change subnet mask. Clear whatever's in there. There's nothing in there in this case, so two five five dot two. Five, five, dot, two, five, five, dot, zero. Enter. Okay, now we want to set our default gateway. This is going to be set to 192.168.1.90. Clear whatever's in there, and then one, nine, two, dot, one six eight dot one dot ninety enter once you get all that set verify it's correct hit apply configuration stored hit enter to return now you should back back be able to back back out, put your ATM online, and start processing transactions.